release. We're free to fly. I take it your neighbor's new recruit? But maybe it's like Tate. And I was just on the wrong side. Don't we all? Let's try not to be each other's wrenches. That's why 920 is one of my regular stops, so I already have the necessary approvals. Neva says you're after a piece of UC tech. So to get it, we're going to need to get you on board. I can do that, but I have conditions. can be candid. For this job to work, we'll have to do this my way. We take my ship, and you're a member of my crew. But make no mistake, once you board, the risk is entirely yours. This route is highly lucrative, and sacrificing it is not an option. It's not personal. If you're caught, that entire installation will be on you. There's nothing I can do for you at that point. Except send flowers to your next of kin. Look, I know I don't have a lot of history with the fleet. But I'm putting my reputation and ship on the line for this. That alone should tell you enough. Good, then we have a deal. In any case, when you're ready, meet me at my ship. It's the Jade Swan. And make sure you're prepared for the long haul. Once you're on board SY920, you can't come and go as you please. 
We'll talk more on the ship. about the trade business? Be my guest. Pleasure dealing with you. Ever run into spacers? Skunk. They're like vultures picking away at the left. Okay. Hello. Hello. Excuse me. Yes. 
All right, a few things to note. When we get to the checkpoint, UC military will be hailing us. Let me do the talking. Return your piece of cargo if you have to. Of course, I don't expect it to be. Now, like I said before, once we take off, there's no turning back until this job is done. If you need to take care of anything before we leave, do it. If you want to ask me any other questions, go for it. All right, then get comfortable. We leave for SY920 immediately. All crew prepare for takeoff. Routing power to engine and grab drive. All systems go. the SY-920 from here. Don't worry about your personal ship, the fleet will make sure it's secure. You can take this time to prepare, just try not to bother my pilot while they're flying. Don't worry, Captain. I've spent half my life walking and chewing gum at the same time. I can handle a little banter. Sounds like you're putting in a request for double duty. Captain, I retract my earlier statement. For the record, I don't even like gum. <laughs> Noted. Just get us there safe. Roger that. You've entered secure UC military space. Identify hey. yourself or you will be considered hostile. This is Captain Juan Dayu, cargo class ship ID UC-7938, requesting permission to dock. Identity confirmed. Prepare your ship for scanning. Ahem. <clears throat> You're cleared to dock in docking bay 2. Looks like we're clear. We'll talk more once we're docked. Pardon. Okay, we're in. First things first. The station is enormous, with checkpoints everywhere. To get past them, you'll need a military uniform. And to get a uniform, you'll need to get to the barracks. There should be a way through the vents. You can get to them via the maintenance door downstairs. There's an intercom there as well, where we can make contact. Once you get a uniform, it should be fairly easy to find an elevator to the command bay. But, if at any point your cover's blown, I'm gone. Very funny. But if you do get into trouble, try and use that quick wit to your advantage. Either way, for now, get on that station and find that intercom. We'll talk more then. You with the Jade Swan? Loading and unloading only. Stay clear of the military barracks. We need a lot of cargo to keep a station this size running.
by you. And you found the intercom. That's a start. If I'm not mistaken, the maintenance door should be in front of you. If you can find a way to open it, it'll get you past the first checkpoint. I'm not worried. I'm sure you'll figure it out. Anyway, the door will let you access the vents. Go up the vents and to the barracks. You should find a uniform there. The uniform should get you through the checkpoint and to the elevators. We'll talk again once you get to the command bay. Elijah? Probably downstairs searching for his maintenance key. I feel sorry for the guy. He'd lose his own thumb if one attached to the knuckle. I mean, honestly, are we sure he hasn't? Security's gotten so tight lately. I was thinking of sneaking over to the mess hall, but now there's no chance. Oh! Well, this is embarrassing. I, I seem to have lost my key to the maintenance room again. Oh, good idea. Oh, wait. Nope. That'd be a negatory on that front. Well, still, it was worth a shot. I've covered pretty much every inch of this place, except for the forklift. But that one guard, the one I owe credits to, is parked right there, so... I'd rather not go there. Uh, because this ain't the first time I lost my card. Uh, I'm worried about the impression that it'll make on my superiors. Uh, you know what they say, first time's an accident, second is a coincidence, third time you're being reassigned to some sub-zero planet to mine glaciers for the Admiral's ice cubes. It's tough not seeing any action. But securing a station like this is a pretty important duty. Something I can help you with? Elijah? Probably lost the hair on the back of his head. I'll go see what it's about.
You got patrol duty, huh? Beats standing on your feet, that's for sure. Need your clearance code, Marine. I'll say. You might want to track down your commanding officer and have them clarify your post. Maybe they'll draw you a map.
aren't assigned to this level, Ensign, you need to leave. Need your clearance code, Marine. All right, Ensign, let's hear it. You're clear, Ensign Akasaka. Commander Natara, test flights for the latest prototypes are ready to go. Acknowledge, Lieutenant. Inform them they are clear to launch. Dr. Vogel has put in a request for more personnel. It seems there was an accident. Uh, it's always something like that, Doctor. Not to change the subject, but are we concerned about the potential leaks? No. Until you can provide more substantial proof, we'll simply monitor the situation at the cargo bay. For now, I've recommended to Dr. Vogel to contact me immediately if he identifies any suspicious behavior. Ships are generally easy to fly. I venture you wouldn't have too many difficulties. Hmm. Intercepting transponder data in the Hoffa system might be promising. According to autocorrelation models, results in risk increased by a magnitude of uh, two. But we won't tell Commander Natar. Wait, who are you? Why are you in here? Did you not see the sign? Don't you mean access to the ship? Because the comm spike isn't a device, it's a module. It's attached to a prototype in one of our docking ports. We're still in the testing phase, running decryptions across a variety of signal types. 
but the results so far have been very promising. It can even interpolate signal data lost in the retrieval. It really is a wondrous technology. Yes, it's not quite cracking the Enigma code, but it will give us a significant tactical advantage. We'll be able to infer everything from battle plans to meal consumption. Not that we'd care about that sort of thing, uh, outside of the effects of diet on combat readiness. And yes, there are certain kinks to be worked out, missing parts, and the occasional traumatic injury here and there, but it's all part of the adventure. Yes, it's not the destination, but the journey that matters. <laughs> Particularly when the destination is death. But don't worry. We've corrected the problem with the ship's life support systems, and statistical models show a failure rate of less than 2%. In short, I've requested a full squadron of these brave and fearless marines to be transferred to the station. They'll give the prototype a final run, and provided there are minimal casualties, we can present our findings to Mast. Splendid! That was fast. I thought I put in the request this morning. Normally my requests aren't given this much attention, let alone haste. It seems a tad suspicious. Classified, I I'm the head of the Com Spike project. I would have gotten word of this ahead of time. Then where are they now? And what order are they in? Backwards? Because I haven't seen anything to corroborate your story. And how did you overcome the administrative hurdles. Grav drives have never been able to fly past the belts of bureaucracy. I'm sorry, but I don't believe you. Now, if you don't have any further business, I have a sign I need to commission. All right. You ensign, you sure you have clearance? Hmm. Intercepting transponder data in a wait. Who are... don't you mean axe? It's attached to a we're still in it, can even enter. Yes, it will be a not that. And yes, yes, it's not the, but don't worry. In short, they all give splendid. Normally my request. We don't. Commander Natara. I'm sorry. Intercepting transponder data in the Harvard system might be promising. 